Hello and welcome. We are having a 10 million plus gold gambling video today. Uh, so I have gathered all the uh, stash tabs filled with um, golds. So there's 10 million in there and uh, around 300,000 in the inventory. And the plan is to uh, gamble some amulets. I've been doing a lot of MF runs and uh, the plan is to get get the vendor prices reduced with my geese fortune which reduces all the vendor prices and in my weapon swap I have done an edge rune word and the bottom most uh, attribute this reduces all vendor prices by 15% so this is a simple tier tal amn rune word and I got the three socket hunters bow on in act one just by running in and out of town and uh, getting uh, checking Charles's inventory but yeah time to gamble here we can see that it's normally 63,000 golds for the amulet but this is uh, like a 46k so we are getting a lot of a lot of more amulets and a lot more value when we are using the geese and and the bow so let's let's get started and uh, buy in the small batches uh, we will use the trade inventory because if we screw something up and sell something we shouldn't uh, We will be able to buy it back Okay, plus three war cries amulet. So that's somewhat nice. Let's keep that if we want to build a shelter or <laughs> whatever, whatever So that's a that's a good good thing to have so nice thought nice thought Another batch to buy and let's see what we will get let's use trade inventory so nothing much here some assassin skills mana steel nothing nothing really interesting so another batch it is let the gambling commence all right that's a party killer with dex and mana. Mm, not bad. And uh, so not that really good, but it's a low level requirement. Okay. Shadow disciplines, faster caster strength, but nobody wants shadow disciplines. So not sure about that. Life of mana amulets. Well, it's FCR, so let's keep those. It's not that like I don't have the stash space for them. That's nice. Okay, let's see if we can get an unique in this gambling session. Plus two curses. Okay, nobody wants that. Rare. Another rare. No, no, nothing really is standing up. Poison and bone skills, plus three. That's nice. We'll keep that. Okay. That wasn't particularly good. Okay, so let's save the PNB. PNB amulet with the best amulet skin, of course. That adds to the value. In my mind, at least. next batch let's see what we can get yep necro skills just plus one plus one bonus skills okay necromancer is the, is the trending thing today oh, some resistances defensive auras but nobody likes those the way isn't worth anything all right well let's keep that we'll see if, uh, if we can work something out with that oh, okay the first batch of money is getting slightly low let's uh, withdraw some 
maybe deposit it in the personal tab so it's easily usable. Let's empty this tab out. Very nice. And let's see what Jamel has for us. Next batch. Let the gambling commence. Okay, nothing much. Let's use trading over here. And nothing much. Yeah, there's a, this, uh, this was a wasted batch. Alright. We'll soon have this switch, uh, switch inventory today. Repair vendor. I don't remember his name, but we'll see it soon. Okay, nothing much there. A lot of blues, a lot of blues. And it's a wasted one. Doesn't really matter. I have a good feeling about this one. At least one plus three, please. Okay, nothing much there. Plus three war cries. Plus two cold skills. We'll keep probably the war cries one. It's decent. Uh, find item, gold find barbarians are really nice to play. They and they enable much more gambling, so that's fun. Gambling amulets and gambling rings and gambling uh, circlets is the most interesting way of gambling, and has the best possibilities to get a lot of stuff. Plus one power skills, 10 FCR, energy, fire resist, that's decent. Let's keep that, plus three curses, nobody wants that. So, let's keep the paladin skills, FCR, fire resist. That's good. I really haven't seen any plus two paladin skills, for example, amulets yet, so... Has there been a change of some kind? I guess there has. Not sure. Please comment down below if you have any information about that. All right, that's full. So let's go talk to Halbu. Life and mana. Maybe co combine those life and manas with some uh, plus uh, social skill levels, for example. There's teleport Ami, but uh, nobody really wants to use those because the teleport. Sticks are much better as they can go into the weapon swipe. All right, so nothing in that batch. Let's check out the next one. Nice and relaxing gambling session. At some point, we'll have to probably change acts. Okay, blue, blue, blue. Yep, nothing here. So the act doesn't matter or the difficulty level doesn't matter when gambling, it's only your charter level that's actually interesting. So I'm back gambling with my 85 Sork. Uh, sorry, 86 Sork, so this affects it. So that I will be getting max level 86 stuff, I guess. No, fully sure how it goes. This is an interesting bug. You, you cannot fill the uh, personal stash tab with uh, the deposit any, uh, anymore like this. You have to put the exact amount if you want to have the uh, full 2.5 mils. So it's kind of annoying. They should fix that. So it would auto fill the gold amount and uh, then leave the rest that doesn't go in into your inventory gold. All right, next batch it is. Plus three LS skills, that's nice. We can work with that. Power skills, 80 energy, 36 gold press. You really want FCR on those. Yep. 
good amount of uh, rares, but nothing uh, too interesting in there. A rare with uh, like plus three would be really nice. Or maybe a unique. I gambled the Eye of Etlik at the earlier session, so it's very possible to get uniques from gambling. But let's see how it goes today. Still space on Halbu, so let's see if blues plus blues. Plus two summoning skills. And nothing much here in this batch. We're getting some solid plus three blues, but uh, we're still waiting for the real banger. Let's see what we can get here. Alright, starting out with the rares. Too bad they are not that good. Well, that's a decent one. Amazon and dual res. Plus one to life, so. Makes you kind of think about <laughs> maybe if that was a 99 roll on life. All right, maybe it is time to go and check out uh, Act One. Maybe Act Five, Act Three. No, Act One is is the thing we want to uh, go for. Sorry for the pop up. Let's censor that a bit. Right, Mr. Geed. Let's see what you have. 90 mana is nice, but nothing really, nothing really for us here. So it's, uh, it was a wasted effort. Next batch going in, and we are going, yeah, plus three cold skills, that's nice. Always good. Plus two war crimes, plus three cold skills, and plus 11 to life. Getting better, getting better. I like it. Let's put them down there so no accidental screw ups. That's mine currently. Plus three cold skills and plus 17 to strength, which is nice when you're using the spirit monarch, which requires 156 strength. So. You really want to get some strength on your gear when when uh, using a monarch with spirit. And as a sock, you really want to use that. Plus one sock skills, 10 FCR resistance is um, kind of decent. Teleport Ami. Uh, plus three combat skills, Pala. That's good. We'll leave that. And another one. One amulet damage. Okay, okay, interesting, interesting. So that this was a good batch. Let's keep those three. Deposit them in, in our stash. Very good. Gold's getting a bit thin, so let's get into the last, last stash tab with golds. All right. All right, Mr. Geed, give us something fancy. Good skins, good skins. Trade UI, and uh, let's see what we get. As skills, Holy Colders. Holy Colders, nice. Still, or <laughs> maybe a kick sin like that. Not sure. Again, another assassin skills, but nothing really going for it. We have to think about that, but maybe not. Let, let's just sell it. Get more. Let's get more and get better. Oh, I missed an amulet. Well, we'll live. Let's see, dispatch, druid skills, 43 life, that's not, that's kind of nice, but a little bit better, plus skills, hmm, not sure about that, well it really doesn't take that much space, plus skills, energy, always, 
Or is this always nice? This is like a half of a Maras. Free Shadow Disciplines, low level resists. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe we'll keep that. Let's see. Let's see how I feel about those. Well, let's put them in the chest. Stash or whatever you like to call it. That was actually the first one. First one with that much all resists. Okay. Let's see, Mr. Geed, what are you going to give us this time? Defensive or FCR, not that good. Twister amulet. Yeah, nothing here. Nothing to see here. All right, nearing to the end. Another set of amulets. Plus two war crimes. As a skills with two resistances. Too bad it's that low. Yeah. Not really too ex excited about that one. Let's get our next batch. Getting really close. We might have one batch left after this one. Something like a half a mil. Half a mil or something, but her set and uh, nothing really in here you really want to leave a bit of money when when the merc decides to die so let's see if I'll leave 200k or maybe I'll just go all out yeah that's fine I have still one merc rest in there okay and let's just uh, do the last selling to Chaucy See if we have anything here. Nothing there. Two skills, Mastion, and no, well, not too exciting. So skills, FCR, cold dress, <laughs> kinda okay. But when comparing to plus three cold skills, no, not that interesting. And what's that? Yeah, plus three to traps. Hmm, that's nice. Let's keep that. Okay, not that bad. All right, that was that was gambling ten plus mills, and let's see what we got: traps and cold skills, two skills, life, pass killer, plus two combat, plus two cold and life, uh, plus two LS skills, poison and bone and stats. Mm, kind of iffy, but yeah, why not? It's just stash space. Plus skills with FCR, virus. That's nice. I, I like it. Plus three combat skills. Sock skills, FCR resistances. That's also good. Plus two war cries. Yeah. And some of those were, were also were also good. I'm not sure if they were those or <laughs> can't even really remember anymore. Maybe I should have put them in the first tab and not like mix them with <laughs> with my other other findings all right that was uh, gambling 10 plus million golden amulets and we got some decent plus three amis you really want to use the edge bow on this as it reduces all vendor prices by 15 percent and uh, preferably also have an Geats Fortune Charm, so the Edge Bow is uh, really good for this. Just three socketed any bow, put it on your switch, and Teal Tal Am. A very good use of low rooms in a uh, for a decent reward. Let me know if you like the video and do, if you want to see more gambling content in D2R like this. Thank you and uh, see ya.